We found some awesome travel trailers with amazing floor plans and some really cool and unique features. Stick around, you're gonna to wanna to check these out. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at some amazing travel trailers with some awesome floor plans and some really cool features I bet you've never seen in a travel trailer before. Hey, if you've seen us on YouTube before, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make all kinds of videos all about RVing, and we also have our website called rvblogger.com, where we have hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also invite you to subscribe to our monthly digital video magazine called RV Camping Magazine, where you can learn all about RVing and meet some very well-known RVers that we interview and get to know very, very well. Today, though, we're gonna be taking a look at some awesome travel trailers. Like I said, awesome floor plans, amazing features, and I bet you've never seen any of these before. So, without any further ado, let's get started with our reviews. This travel trailer is the Crossroads Zinger Light, model number 259FL. The unloaded vehicle weight on this camper is 5,258 pounds. It has a cargo carrying capacity of 2,342 pounds. And the gross vehicle weight rating on this is 7,600 pounds. The length on it measures in at just about 30 feet long. When you first walk into this camper, it's really different from most campers that you walk into because this one has a front living room setup, and this is really unusual. I've not really seen this setup before, but I like it a lot. This front living room, you'd have a nice big TV on the wall right here. They have a sound bar underneath. I mean, really, really cool presentation. And then you've got all these storage cabinets, which go back about a foot on the top, maybe a foot and a half on the bottom cabinet. Down below, you have even more storage. Uh, three big cabinets with plenty of storage all the way through. And there's a sofa up here, which is nice and comfy. And then this also jackknifes out so another person can sleep here as well. And you'll notice that there are some receptacles back here, little end table, so you can sit here, relax, charge your phone at the end of the day. Just a really, really cool front living room trailer setup. Now, just behind the front living room is the kitchen, which is in the middle of this camper, and it's got some really cool features also. First of all, it has a ton of countertop space. I mean, it's just everywhere. It's really great. This part of the countertop, however, is probably meant to be where your dinette would be, and there are a couple of stools that come included with this so that you can sit here, eat a meal, and watch TV at the same time. It's really a great location for this kind of kitchen setup. So instead of a dinette, you sit right here at your bar and watch TV. Now this uh, kitchen setup also has a lot of storage up top. I mean, these are big, huge storage cabinets up here. Plenty of room to store all kinds of stuff. Then you have a nice big double bowl sink down below. Nice gooseneck faucet with a separate sprayer. You've got all your drawers set up over here. More storage space underneath the sink. And then we move over to the three burner cooktop and you even have an oven down below. And then you've got your microwave oven up top. Now right across from all this is where your refrigerator is located. And this is a really good size fridge with a separate freezer above. So plenty of room for cold storage inside your camper. And then you have your pantry area with lots of shelf storage in there as well. Now, as we work our way towards the back of this camper, you have to walk through the bathroom to get to the master bedroom. But this is a really, really big bathroom. And I like this kind of setup. Inside the shower here, this is almost a three feet by three foot shower. So it's very large. Curtain swings out on a track, but it's just got a lot of space inside here. Also, headroom inside the skylight. And you have about six feet, six inches. And headroom throughout the entire trailer is measuring in at about six feet, nine inches. So this is a great camper for you taller folks. Right across from the shower, we have our medicine cabinet with some shelves on the wall. 
a vanity with some good countertop space, shelves behind the commode, and a little bit of storage space under the sink. So back here in the master bedroom, we have two large wardrobe cabinets back here. You can hang things in there. And also on each side of the bed, there's a large end table. Both sides have receptacles and USB ports. This bed is measuring in at 74 inches long. So this will be considered a short queen bed, but underneath the bed, there's plenty of storage. This travel trailer is by Dutchman RV and it's their Aspen Trail model number 29BB. The unloaded vehicle weight on this is 6,378 pounds. It has a cargo carrying capacity of 2,382 pounds and the gross vehicle weight rating is 8,760 pounds. It comes in at a total length of 34 feet long. Now, when you first walk into this camper, You've got to notice right away on my left hand side, this is a floor plan that we've never ever seen before. And this is the back of this travel trailer and it has got this really cool bunk bed set up right here. And these are extra wide bunks. They're probably about 40 inches wide. The weight capacity on them is 300 pounds. So a good amount of weight. You could easily sleep a kid on each bunk. And if you have little kids, two kids on each bunk, but what a really cool setup. And I'll show you why I think it's really cool as we work our way through the kitchen and living area. Now, also back here, you have a couple of storage cabinets that are decent size. And so you can put the kids clothes and things like that in there. And then you have your living room couch right in front of the bunk beds. Now this couch also is a recliner. So you just push the button and the legs fly up and you can sit here and relax and enjoy watching TV. This also jackknifes out into a bed so one more person can sleep here. One other really cool feature about this couch is that it's got all this storage area underneath. This goes all the way underneath the couch from one end to the other. Now, one thing I really like about this setup is the entertainment center is right here and it's right across from where the bunk beds are. So the kids can be in bed TV can be on, everybody can be watching TV and having a good time. You have a little storage down below and of course you have a fireplace as well. Now right across from this is where the dinette is and this is a big U-shaped dinette. Now we have a U-shaped dinette in our RV and we really like it because you can get a lot of people sitting around the dinette. So if you're sitting in here playing cards or board games, things like that, this is really a perfect setup for that scenario. And this also drops down and converts into another bed. And this bed is pretty wide. So you could get a single adult here very comfortably. Maybe two kids or two smaller kids could fit in here also. And it's got a nice big window over top. Right across from the dinette is the kitchen area. And we have a microwave oven up top. And then lots of storage cabinets. And these are big, deep storage cabinets. So you can get a lot of stuff in there. Then we have a three burner stove and it's not an oven, but it's a big drawer for pots and pans and things like that, that you can fit in there. Next to that, you've got all your kitchen drawers for all your utensils and everything. And then more storage below the sink. Now the sink in this model is a very large single bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet. And you'll also notice that we're seeing this more and more in RVs. Now you're getting the backsplash installed behind the kitchen countertop. One more um, similarity of campers trying to take residential kitchens and bring some of those features into the camper community. So kind of a cool feature, you know, it's reduces splatter and things like that, keeps things neat and clean. Right across from the kitchen, you've got a nice big refrigerator with a separate freezer up top so you can keep your ice and all your drinks nice and cold. Now I saved the best part of the kitchen for last because this really makes it a super cool floor plan. And that is this hidden pantry behind the entertainment center. And you can get a ton of storage in here as well. So as we work our way towards the front of this camper and the master bedroom area, you have to walk through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. Disadvantage is you have to walk through the advantages. The bathroom is as wide as the whole camper. So it makes for a really large bathroom. Now this particular shower is almost three feet wide by three feet deep. And it uh, comes with a curtain that goes across, but there's so much room in there. It's really no problem at all. Right across from the shower, you have your medicine cabinet 
with some shelf space in there. You've got your vanity and vanity top, open storage space, and some storage space under the sink. And finally, when you're sitting on the commode in here, man, this baby passes the elbow test 110%. I learned the elbow test from Mark over at RV Love, by the way, so kudos to you, man. Thanks for the tip. Here we are in the master bedroom, and you'll notice that we have a good size bed here. This is a queen size bed, so it's 60 inches wide, and it is ooh, 78 inches long. So it's a short queen, but just by a couple of inches. So decent sized bed in here. You'll also notice on each side, you've got a good size wardrobe closet. On the bottom, this is about three feet deep, so you can store a lot of stuff in here. There's also a little nightstand on each side of the bed, and that comes with a receptacle, so you can plug things in and recharge them overnight. You can also get out on each side of the bed, which is nice so you don't disturb your partner if you have to get up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom. One other nice feature is the bed does lift up, and we have all this great storage under here. And one final feature about this bedroom is that it has its own door that leads outside. This travel trailer is the Crossroads Zinger, model number 299RE. It's 34 feet, one inches long, and it weighs in at 7,120 pounds, but you can add 2,550 pounds of cargo, so your total GVWR in here is 9,670 pounds. Now, when you first walk into this trailer, you've got your whole kitchen and living area on your left, and then to the right-hand side, you've got the bathroom and bedroom area. But when you first walk in, it's very impressive. It feels very big in here and luxurious. I really, really like the feel quite a bit. You have this big U-shaped dinette in here. Uh, this table will drop down and you can convert this into a bed. But I like the big windows over top. I just like the extra features here with the lighting and the cabinetry look above. Your kitchen area right across from that is an L-shaped kitchen, which gives you a lot of countertop space. It feels really good in here. You have a nice big double bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet and a sprayer built into it. Then you've got storage below that and of course full extension drawers to get to all of your utensils and everything. Up above they have these nice black glass doors just to add a little little nice look to it all but a big giant storage cabinet up here. To the right of that we have a regular microwave. Then you have a three burner stove and even an oven down below. Now, right next to your stovetop is your refrigerator. And the fridge in here is a good size fridge, nice and deep. You can store plenty of things in your fridge and freezer that way. And then we sort of wrap on around into the entertainment area. Now, there are a couple really cool features in here that I think you're gonna love. First of all, you can put a really nice big TV into this built-in area, which I just think gives it that extra really good look so uh, it doesn't look like a TV just hanging on a wall. And of course, you've got storage above. You've got a sound bar down below in this particular unit. And then you have your fireplace below that. Now, to really round it out a bit and make it feel special, they even have a wine cooler back here, which is a very nice feature. A little bit of extra countertop space with a window above and then even more storage here. So it really gives you that awesome luxurious feel and then you've got a couple of very nice recliners in the perfect spot you can sit right here watch your nice big tv you've got your fireplace going you can grab a bottle of wine and just enjoy things now there's one more really cool feature here in the living room and i'm just gonna grab a hold of this handle here and you can check it out this whole wall opens up and then you've got all of this storage back here I've really never seen this in a travel trailer before, but it's a really, really cool feature and it uses the space up very, very well. I've just, I'm just, I just think it's so cool. It's like a little Harry Potter room or something back there. <laughs> so from the front door location, if you had made a right, you'd come on back here past the bathroom and into the owner's bedroom. This is a good size room. You can get in and out of the bed from both sides, which is always a good feature. You've got a couple of mirrored wardrobe cabinets on either side, and then a shelf over top with lighting underneath. On that side of the bed, there's a receptacle and two USB ports plus a nightstand. 
on this side of the bed there's a nightstand and receptacles over here and then finally this bedroom has a closet built into it and this closet can also serve as a location for your washer and dryer as there are washer and dryer hookups provided okay so here i am in the bathroom and this is a good size bathroom in this camper i'm standing in the shower like i usually am and the amount of headroom in here is about six feet two inches to the ceiling a little taller six feet four inches if you're in the fan location standing up and the overall ceiling height in the camper just from the floor to the ceiling not standing in the shower is six feet nine inches so pretty good amount of headroom in here the shower curtain is on a track that sort of you know rolls out into the room so it keeps the shower curtain out a little bit and that's always a nice thing then you've got a good vanity set up with a medicine cabinet above decent sized vanity sink and then a little bit of storage down below the commode itself uh, pretty good location decent amount of elbow space in here you certainly don't feel like you're cramped in a small closet this travel trailer is the Keystone Outback, model number 291UBH. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 6,869 pounds, a cargo carrying capacity of 1,331 pounds, so the gross vehicle weight rating is 8,200 pounds. And the length on this travel trailer is 32 feet 8 inches long. Now when you first walk into this travel trailer, you walk right into an expansive area because the whole side of this trailer bumps out with the dinette and the theater seating, but it's got a really nice luxurious feel to it because it's got the dark leather interior and then you've got this nice rich wood interior as well. So it feels really nice and luxurious in here. The kitchen area you can see is kind of an L-shaped kitchen, which is nice because it gives you a lot of countertop space. It has a very good size single bowl, deep sink with a large gooseneck faucet and a sprayer, of course. And as we wrap around from there, it's got a three burner stove with an oven down below. Also, while we're down here, there's some additional storage underneath the kitchen sink. And then up top, it's got a microwave oven, some storage above that for wine bottles and such. And then you have a nice big cabinet on the side here as well. So lots of storage space so you can get to everything. And then right next to that, we have the refrigerator. Now this fridge is a really nice big fridge, nice and deep. I mean, just look how far my arm goes in there. So good deep fridge, a lot of good size here. And then as we keep on rolling along, we get to the entertainment area. So it's got, you know, some nice glass doors built into it, some storage overhead, very good size TV, radio, more cubbies for storage, and then additional storage down below also. It'd be nice if this was a little deeper though, because it seems like, it could be. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it is. Look at this. It swings wide open. This is just like another trailer that we saw also where we had a hidden storage area in there as well. So your pantry fits right behind here. You have all these terrific shelves with a nice dip, deep ledge on them so it can hold things in place. You won't have cans falling off the shelves while you're traveling down the road. There's even a little spot for a trash can in here that they have built in with some cargo mesh netting to hold that in place. And then there's even a deep drawer built in here. I guess you could store, I don't know, blankets or taller boxes of cereal or things like that in this drawer. But that's a really cool feature in here to sort of hide away the pantry like that. Now, as we wrap around past there, we get to the back of the trailer, which is where there are a couple of bunk beds back here. Now these bunks are pretty good size. They're nice and wide. You could sleep, you know, two small kids back here very, very easily. Each bunk has its own set of USB ports. Plus it's got lights over top and each bunk also has a window. Now the top bunk has a weight limit of 150 pounds and the bottom bunk has a weight limit of 300 pounds. So if you're gonna sleep two kids up top, they probably need to be pretty little kids. And then of course, there's also a little cubby back behind here as well. 
and then you have a little ladder so you can climb up and get into the top, top bunk and then you have even more storage space here also now there's also a couple of drawers located down below i like these drawers because they're all plywood and they are fully extendable so extra storage space so the kids can keep their clothes back here too and there's even a little door that opens or closes to separate the area off now as we roll around through here then we get to these really awesome comfy um theater seating chairs i guess you would call them right movie seat chairs i was thinking but they're called theater seating and uh these babies are nice they have cup holders they're directly across from the tv so they're really in just the perfect spot so i really like the setup a lot and just next to the theater seating is where your dinette booth is located now this dinette could easily seat four people we're showing it with the table in the lower position because this also converts into another bed and if you had little kids you could sleep two little kids here probably only one adult it's not a very long seating arrangement so it'd be hard to sleep someone tall in that spot and also as we wrap around the kitchen if you had noticed there were no drawers in the kitchen that's because they're all on this side of the countertop space but these are also fully extendable drawers so you can put your utensils and pots and pans and things like that over here and then there's even more storage to get to the back of the sink area to store a few things in there as well and you might also notice you can extend your countertop even further with the extendable countertop so here i am inside the bathroom and the bathroom is located in between the main living area and the master bedroom it's very big though because it goes from side to side across this travel trailer but the only way you can get to the master bedroom is if you walk through the bathroom now i'm standing in the shower right now and this is a really good size shower it is 40 inches by about 28 inches so very good size it's got these really nice glass doors that slide across which i really like and then your headroom in here is really pretty good i mean there's a skylight over my head and it's about six feet seven inches of headspace and normal headspace in this rv is about six feet eleven in the middle and it's got an arched ceiling so the middle's the highest and then towards the side walls it drops from 611 down to about six feet seven inches still very good headroom in here so here i am in front of the vanity and there's susan right there hi honey and you'll notice it has a very good size medicine cabinet up top open space below very good size sink and extra countertop space a receptacle off to the right side here and then you have two storage cabinets so plenty of room for storage and i think the commode's at a bit of a weird angle because you know when you sit on here i guess you put one arm up top so as far as the elbow test goes it's great if you start out like this but if your arms under here you know you're you're not doing so well but nonetheless very good size bathroom all right so here we are in the master bedroom and the nice thing about this bedroom is it does sit off by itself and um, you can get in and out of bed from both sides so you don't have to disturb your partner uh, if you need to get up in the middle of the night the bed is about 76 inches long by 60 inches wide so queen size bed maybe a short queen bed actually but uh, nonetheless it's set up very very well both sides of the bed have uh, like nightstands set up and there are also receptacles and usb ports and then on each side of the bed you've got a closet with a rod on both sides so you can hang things for storage and then you have additional storage over top as well couple other nice features in here and one that's really kind of cool is this is a pet friendly rv because when you lift up the bed you can either use this space for storage or you can use it as a little dog kennel so that's a really unique feature first time i've ever seen that in an rv so i think it's really really cool if you have a little pup he's got his own little place to sleep and he's right with mommy and daddy so he's nice and safe and secure all night You'll also notice in here that there's a window on each side so you can get a nice cross breeze blowing through here and then just to my right here on this wall is where you would mount your tv and you've got a receptacle and cable hookup as well 
All right, this travel trailer is the Venture RV Sport Trek model number STT343VBH. The unloaded vehicle weight on this baby is 8,670 pounds. The gross vehicle weight rating is 10,995 pounds and the length is 37 feet 8 inches long. So this is a pretty big travel trailer. Now when you first walk into one of the side doors on this trailer, you'll see the second side door as we work our way through. Um, you walk right into the living area and you've got your kitchen area off to the left. But it's very impressive. It feels really nice and big in here. Very luxurious because of... First of all, the two-tone cabinetry, you'll notice the darker cabinets around the entertainment and the living area. And then in the kitchen area, they switch to a lighter tone of cabinet. So it feels very luxurious. When you first walk in the door, you've got a nice coat closet here on your right-hand side. So right away, it's very convenient. Puts all your coats and stuff in storage, nice and out of sight that way. First thing you'll notice to my right here is the entertainment center. So you can mount your TV here. And then you've got a nice nice big shelf space and then storage below that and then a beautiful fireplace down below that and you could even kick your shoes off and store them under the fireplace as we wrap on around you'll notice that we have these really nice comfy reclining seats we have built-in cup holders we have an electrical socket two usb ports very very nice setup this whole thing can flip up and out of the way so you can make it into a nice big comfy couch and then this will jack knife out into another place for someone to sleep. Now right above me here, you even have additional storage up top. Try and get a picture of that for you. So plenty of storage overhead in this area as well. Now as we continue to roll around through here, you have your dinette area. This is a very comfortable dinette that can feed, seat four people. This also converts into a bed. And then of course there's storage underneath of both sides of the dinette area. It's got a very nice light fixture above. Again, it just adds to the feeling of luxury that's in here. Nice window treatments, good size window over top of the dinette as well. So here I am in the kitchen area, but also right next to the front door, you'll notice these storage cabinets down below on the other side of the kitchen island. So fantastic place for additional storage. Now, this is an L-shaped kitchen setup, which I really, really think is fantastic. You'll notice right away, it's got this very large single bowl square style sink or rectangular sink. Very nice faucet with separate sprayer. Then you have all this countertop space next to your sink three burner stove with an oven down below. Really nice full extension drawers under here. I mean, these are very nice quality drawers, very easy to slide. Up above, you've got a microwave oven and then even more storage next to that. Now, right next to your cooktop and oven and microwave, you've got your refrigerator and you'll notice they've got the cabinet panels built into the refrigerator doors. Really nice, gives it a great look in here. And this is a very good size refrigerator, super deep, which I really think is fantastic. You'll also notice even more storage down below. That's a very nice full size, full extension drawer. All right, so here we are in the living area and we're moving up towards the front of the trailer. And you'll notice there are a couple doors here. The first door on the right is the bathroom though. And when you come in here, it's a very nice setup. Got my favorite style of shower in here, which is the corner style set up with the glass doors that close around you. It's just a great use of space. It's very roomy in here, easy to take a shower in this style of shower setup. When you're standing inside the shower, there is a skylight overhead. So there's a lot of headroom in here. And in fact, there's six feet, 10 inches of headroom when you're standing up and in the shower. So that's really, really phenomenal. The vanity area has a nice big medicine cabinet with nice storage behind it. It's got an oval shaped vanity sink, very nice faucet, and then additional storage down below. And then of course you have your commode in the corner. So the next feature you'll notice is there's another door from the bathroom that leads into the owner's bedroom. So 
You could enter the owner's bedroom from the door in the hallway, or you also have access from the bathroom. So it's a very nice setup for sure. Here I am in the master bedroom, and this bedroom feels really great. It's super large. It's got an amazing feature in it though that you're gonna to wanna to stick around and see. But when you first walk in, obviously your first focus is gonna be on the bed. Now this bed is, looks to be about a queen size, 60 inches wide. 80 inches long, so it is a full queen size bed, which is fantastic. And you can get in and out of this bed on both sides. So that's a really great feature. Um, the reason that this room feels so big, or one of the reasons is because the bed is actually in a slide out here. So that helps to create some more space in the room. In addition, you've got storage over top with cabinet space over top as well. And these these black glass insets just give you an extra luxurious feel. The only negative to the bed is that there isn't a nightstand on either side of the bed itself. And for some folks, that's a really big deal. Uh, for other folks, not really so much. Now you'll notice another really great feature in here, and this is all the way at the front of this travel trailer, is all this built in sort of dresser space, I guess we'll call it. You've got shelf space up top, You've got receptacles up here as well. You've got a wardrobe cabinet on each side. And then you've got this big shelf area with really nice drawers that pull out. Now underneath of here is storage that you would get to from outside of the camper. So there's nothing down below that you can get to from inside, but this is a very nice setup inside. And then finally, you've got a beautiful fireplace right inside your owner's bedroom. I just love this feature very elegant you've got plenty of more storage around and below the the fireplace i mean it just feels really nice in here and then last of all you have your tv location here all your rough-ins are supplied you've got a backer built in behind the wall so as we move towards the back end of this trailer through the kitchen and living area we have a whole nother bedroom back here this is a big trailer and it's got a lot of space and this bedroom is a great bunk room or kids playroom or whatever you want to make it out to be it's got a nice comfy couch here that will jackknife out into a bed it's got a bunk over top of that that can drop down this bunk has a 250 pound weight rating so as you wrap around through the back of this bedroom you've got a nice window here then you have your tv backer location here with your rough ends just above it and then there are two bunks on this side of the room as well Top bunk is 40 inches wide, six feet long. It has a 500 pound weight rating. The bunk down the bottom is 28 inches wide and six feet long, and it can hold 250 pounds. Now, each one of these bunks has USB ports next to it, and they also have their own light. Then down below that, we have additional drawer space and another cabinet door that opens as well. So just outside the back bedroom door area here, you've got this nice linen closet. This is right across from the second bathroom that's in this trailer. And this linen closet's, you know, a decent size. It's got lots of, of um, shelves, not drawers. I seem to say drawers instead of shelves all the time, but it's got lots of shelf space. You could store linens, towels, whatever back here. And then here I am in the second bathroom, which just has a commode and a sink. But the great thing about it is it's got its own entrance way. So if the kids are playing outside, they can just run in here, use the bathroom, run back out. They're not running through the whole camper. Um, very nice setup though. It's got a medicine cabinet above, good size vanity, lots of storage underneath. And then of course your commode. Okay, just outside the bathroom door is where the outdoor kitchen is located. And this is a really nice outdoor kitchen. I mean, first thing you notice is this big TV here, which right away I think is pretty cool. You've got these speakers with a radio, so really nice upgrades here. Uh, the slide out drawer here includes a sink with a really different kind of faucet. I've never seen that before. And then you have a two burner propane stove on here as well. And then You've got storage above both sides of the TV, and then you have a nice little outdoor fridge to go with it all. Let us know which one of these awesome floor plans or travel trailer features you thought were the coolest in the comments down below. We'd love to know what you think after you've had a chance to check them all out. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just 
check one of these boxes right over here and remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every single week when Susan and I come out with a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching. Leave your campsite better than how you found it and we'll see you next time.